After the Carson Wentz experiment ended with a thud in 2021, the Indianapolis Colts shipped him off to Washington and acquired Matt Ryan from Atlanta. Matty Ice should provide more stability at the position as one of the proven big-time passers in the NFL. During a 7-10 season last year, the former MVP still threw for almost 4,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, and completed 67% of his passes. Now at age 37, he starts anew with the Colts, and our Pete Prisco talked to him about that on Tuesday. Matt, it looks so weird seeing you in a Colts uniform. You used to it yet? Yeah, I'm starting to get used to it, but I've been in, I've basically been in these clothes every day for the last four months, so that, that kind of helps. But it, it's different, you know, it's, it's definitely been a good adjustment, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Camp's been a lot of fun getting to know the guys and working, so uh, exciting times for me and my family. Did you think you were going to end your career in Atlanta? Were you hoping to end your career in Atlanta? Yeah, I think, you know, you always, when you're in it, you always think, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to be. Um, you know, but the circumstances changed and, and um, felt like it was, you know, the right time for myself professionally and, you know, my family and everything. Just it, it was time to move on. And uh, that's OK. Change is good. And, and I'm excited to be here. Did you talk to any other quarterbacks like Peyton Manning or guys like that or what they did when they moved on? For sure. You know, talk to a handful of different guys about, you know, what what transition looks like, particularly guys that have been in the same place for a long time and um, how you go about doing some of those um you know, things with, with your teammates that you're so accustomed to in the same organization, it's just different. Every every building operates different. And, uh, you know, Peyton was really helpful with that. Matthew Stafford, really helpful. Philip Rivers, a guy who had, you know, done pretty much the same thing and came to this organization. He was super helpful, too. So I uh, got great advice from those guys. With Frank Reich, what's it been like with him so far? He's awesome. You know, I've, I've really enjoyed, you know, working with him. Uh, we spent a lot of time and, and worked really hard to, to try and get on the same page. I've learned a lot. Um, I think he's really intentional uh, with everything that he does. And uh, he certainly, you know, developed a really good culture here in Indianapolis. And, you know, I'm excited to contribute what I can to it and uh, hopefully make it a little better. It's going to be nice handing the ball off to uh, Jonathan Taylor, isn't it? He's a stud. You know, there's no question about it. Even, you know, just starting to watch him in practice, see him out on the field, the way he cuts, his patience, you know, reading holes, and really his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield too, you know. Rarely do you see a guy who has all of it, pass protection, run between the tackles, top end speed, catches the ball well, runs good routes. Uh, he's the complete package, and, and uh, we're all certainly lucky to have him. You were sacked over 40 times in four straight seasons. How do you feel as a 37-year-old quarterback? I feel good. That's a lot of sacks, 160-some sacks in the last four <laughs> yeah. years. But, uh, you know, I, I honestly, I feel really good. You know, I've, I've, I feel like I've gotten into a position as I've gotten older, understanding you know, what I need to do in order to keep myself feeling fresh and fit and, um, you know, feel feel young. I'm surrounded by a really young team. I think that helps, too. One last thing. Do you play into your 40s? I, You know, I, I have never put a number on it. Um, you know, honestly, I'm excited to be here. I think it, you know, coming into a new place and there's a certain sense of, of rejuvenation of, you know, all of it being new. I think that, you know, makes you feel younger. Um but as long as, you know, the, the fire is still there, which it is, and uh, my body feels good and I'm playing at the level I feel like I can play at, I'd like to go as long as I can. You got it. Thanks, man. Thanks, Pete. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.